homeostasis is essential for the health and vitality of living systems. Among the organs that regulate homeostasis in the body, the kidneys are of great importance. Which of the following is not a homeostatic function of the kidney? Okay. So really, we're just asked here about what the kidney does um, in terms of homeostasis, per se. So it's not really asking us to dissect anything in detail. A lot of the questions in the NCAT are like that. Um, they generally provide a lot of information that you don't necessarily need. You just kind of have to focus. So here we're asked about homeostasis or homeostatic function, and we're asked about the kidney. So what are some of the functions of the kidney? That's essentially what we're being asked here. Okay. So let's see. Choice A says renal absorption. Choice B, renal excretion. C is hormone secretion. And then D is micturition. Okay. So if you recall, let's take a look. Um, when we learned about the kidney in physiology um, classes, we learned that there is, of course, these different sections, and the functional unit is the nephron. So we have, of course, the proximal convoluted tubule. We have Bowman's capsule. We have the descending loop of Henle, because all of this is the loop of Henle, the ascending portion, and then, of course, the distal convoluted tubules. And it was a pain to learn what each region does, but here's a nice little diagram. It says, hey, here's the nephron. We know that the renal corpuscle is responsible for filtration. Because remember, the purpose of the kidney is, of course, to filter impurities from the body. So, of course, it filters the blood here. Um, then we have um, the proximal. Proximal means close. So this is the closer region, closer to the corpuscle, where, of course, the fluid um, enters or the process begins. And it's here that we have reabsorption and secretion. Um, here we see the entrance of things like urea, um, uh, you know, dopamine. The question doesn't ask for this great detail, but this is just a quick, ref you know, refresher. <laughs> then we have, of course, the actual loop, the descending um, and ascending limbs. We see that water leaves here, salt leaves. And then over here, we also have reabsorption um, in the uh, distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct regions. So this is really nice. Um, you could probably look at this, pause the screen just to refresh um, your memory about it. But we do see that the kidney is involved in reabsorption, absolutely. Um, filtration means, of course, separating the impurities and retaining the things that are needed um, by the body. So when we return, we see that the answer choices had, of course, absorption, excretion, absolutely. We saw that those things were leaving, and hormone secretion. Now, of course, when we look at the function of the kidney here in terms of what we, um, when we study it as part of the urinary system or excretory system, we don't see much about hormone production. But do remember that the kidneys are capable of secreting um, hormones, okay? Some of them, for instance, are involved in the production of red blood cells um, during anemic conditions in the body. So in addition to the physiological function of the kidney um, in terms of things that you've learned, filtration, pH, um, in removing impurities, always remember that the kidney is also um, capable of secreting hormones. Okay, So that's the hormone secretion. Now, micturition is actually just a fancy way for saying um, releasing urine from the body or urination. And so we know that the kidney, even though it, it is endocrine um, because it releases hormones, we know that it's part of the excretory system and it's involved in filtration, reabsorption, and, and excretion. The kidney is not a part of micturition. That is something that we associate, of course, with the bladder and the muscles and the urethra. So in this case, the correct response is choice D.